This is your captain speaking. If you look out to your left, you'll see a beautiful view of the Grand Canyon. Oh, the Reaver fly! Oh, the Sun Cruise did it! I can absolutely guarantee you I'm not gonna. My home has found us. Who sent that thing? My creator. Of course. Now that I've not stepped into you. The symbiotes didn't come here by accident. Who's this creator? They were running. From what? But then a lot of nice things turn back. It's a nun! What's his name then? No! no. no. This is the man who killed the Celestial! Everything will end. What are we doing? We need a disguise! Hey, man. Whoa! <laughs> Why'd you keep knocking people out? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry! Oh, baby, baby, it's a while. We've come a long way, you and me. It's hard to this world can't survive if you stay together. But I need him. We are bad people. There we are! There comes a time in every man's life. Where you have to make a sacrifice. E.T. Eddie, I'm with you to the end. Is he gonna die? I always remember you. No, this is all the money that we have. What oh. is this feeling? It's like this feeling? Ah, it's like all of my problems have gone away. No! <laughs> Me I need more money. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, Sony would say that after what happened with Madame Web. So, Marvel fans, we have finally got our official and final trailer for Venom 3 The Last Dance. And there is a big reveal in that trailer. We have the creator of the symbiote, and he is an entity that was existing in a dark void before the universe was created. So, when the Celestials were creating their own life and bringing light into the universe, he did not like that. So, he retaliated by creating a Necros sword, and using that sword, he decapitated a Celestial. That Celestial ended up becoming a planet also known as Nowhere, and that's a famous location in the Guardians of the Galaxy. But he also has something called a Symbiote Hive, in which he created a symbiote from his own shadow, and he used symbiotes in order to take over the universe and have influence everywhere. Then the symbiotes rebelled against them and kept them in a cage. And the interesting thing about the sword, if you remember in Thor Love on Thunder, Gore the God Butcher used it to kill the gods. And some people may be thinking, how are they making three Venom films? But it looks like the audience has wanted it. But I have no idea where they're gonna go with this story. I don't know who this kid is that Eddie is sharing the vehicle with. Don't know if they have a big story or a big part of the film, but I guess it could be just a one-off scene. Regardless, Venom 3 is coming out October 25th. So, not long to go. But what do you think of the official and final trailer? Let me know in the comments.